Hi and welcome back to Scotty's Tech.info. I'm Scotty with my co-host Cletus and today it's time for something completely different. So the other day I was out in the workshop and I had to cut a, a piece of uh, plastic piping, a PVC pipe for a little project I was working on and I had to, it was a curved piece of pipe and I had to cut kind of a non-straight line and of course it's a three-dimensional object so I grabbed a little handsaw and I started cutting it and at that point my esteemed French colleague Pierre, who happens to be a mechanical type engineer, he said, no, 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 what are you doing? What are you doing here? Use the multi-tool. And I said, ah, the multi-tool. And he said, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he gets the multi-tool out. This is a multi-tool. And he sets it up for me. And he says, yeah, it's, it's a lot easier because you can, you know, it'll, you'll, you'll do the cut faster. And he says, you know, you're going to have to hold it with your hand, your left hand, and cut with the right hand. And this is better to use because not only is it easier, but if the blade touches your skin, it won't cut you. And I said, you know, I've been wondering for years, why, why won't these saws actually cut skin? Because they're actually similar to uh, a, uh, a cast saw. If you break your arm, you get a plaster or a fiberglass, you know, a rigid cast put on your arm. And when it comes time to have the cast removed, you go to the doctor's office and the doctor or nurse gets a tool very much like this one that, you know, with a blade that vibrates and they cut the cast off. And of course they reassure you, especially if you're like a little kid, they say, don't worry because when it touches your skin, it won't cut you. But of course they make lots of noise. So they're kind of terrifying. So my whole life I've wondered why do these things not actually cut skin, but they do cut wood. So, um, first of all, let me demonstrate. <clears throat> so this is, this is a fine multi-tool. You can see it has this funky thing and, uh, it has this, this nice blade here. And when I turn it on, that's what it does. Now, if I want to cut a piece of wood, no problem. <laughs> kind of noisy, no big deal, right? But if I touch it, it doesn't cut my skin, but it just cut this piece of wood. Now you may be thinking, well, yeah, but look at those tiny little teeth. That's what a lot of people say. They say, yeah, but it's, it's cause the little, the little teeth there, that's why it doesn't cut you. Okay. Hang on. So here we have a blade with much larger teeth, right? So let's see if that cuts my hand. So no, it doesn't. Even low speed, high speed, even with big teeth, it doesn't cut me. Okay, so as I said, I'm cutting this piece of pipe. My friend Pierre says, blah, 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 don't worry, it won't cut you. And then I said, right, why doesn't it actually cut skin, but it will cut right through a piece of wood, even if you have big teeth, sharp teeth, right? And he says what a mechanical engineer would say, it's about amplitude. Well, okay, that kind of, you know, I had this kind of confused look on my face. And uh, so he started giving kind of a more detailed explanation and I kind of like zoned out thinking about amplitude and um, kind of at the same time, uh, suddenly I had one of these like epiphany moments where you kind of go like, and you finally understand. So, the deal is that the thing, the blade vibrates back and forth, right? The easiest way to understand it is to take a saw. Because if I take this saw and I try to cut my arm and I do like a high amplitude motion like this, right? I'm going to cut my skin. But if I touch it, even these big teeth and I move it back and forth like this, what happens? Well, I'm basically a giant squishy sack of water, 70% water. And because the skin is not rigid, 
the teeth basic, basically touch the skin and just kind of vibrate. It, it doesn't even hurt, it kind of tickles. Um, it, it tingles or tickles and um, you can see there was a, a little mark on my hand because my, my skin is a little bit dry, but other than that, that's all it's going to do. So that's why it doesn't actually cut your skin. It's not that the blade isn't sharp. It's not that the teeth are small. It's the fact that the amplitude of the movement, the amount that it's vibrating back and forth, is small enough and the, and the surface, <clears throat> i.e. your skin, is soft enough, squishy enough, that when the teeth touch, it just kind of vibrates and tickles a little bit. Couple little caveats here. Obviously, it does cut through a piece of wood. So when I was touching the blade to my fingertip like this, it's not gonna cut me, right? But inside my finger is a bone. So if I keep pushing harder and harder and harder, eventually the squishiness between the bone and the blade compresses. And yes, if you push hard enough, eventually it will start cutting your finger off and then you'll have a problem. So you still have to be careful. And in fact, um, I read that there was a nurse who uses uh, cast saws and she said that some of them, she claimed that some of the saws actually have some kind of automatic stop feature. And the other, I don't know if that's true or not, that's what she said. Um, the other thing is that when you're cutting a rigid material, obviously if you're cutting a piece of wood, the wood, it's, it's, it's rigid. It doesn't move like your skin, so the blade just starts cutting right through it. Uh, when you're using one of these and you're cutting through a material, the blades tend to get rather hot. So if you're, if you're cutting through a surface and you slip and you touch your hand, you still could actually, if the blade is hot enough, you might get, you know, not really a burn, but it's going to be a little bit uncomfortable. Um, also, <clears throat> the harder you push, the more friction there is, the more you compress your flesh, and the more likely it is to cut yourself. So it's not that you cannot cut yourself with one of these things. You can if you push hard enough. But if you're cutting like I was and just going like this, even with these big teeth, and you accidentally slip and go like this, you're not actually going to like lop a finger off, uh, even though they're really noisy and uh, quite powerful and pretty handy, pretty handy tools. So, so there you go. That is why a multi-tool or a cast saw does not cut your skin. For more techie tips, see scottystech.info. Thanks for watching. See you next time.